Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Castles of King Arthur There have been many stories about the legendary King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table. Whether these stories are true or not has been debated for centuries, including many arguments as to where Camelot, his castle, was located. However, there are many real places associated with this legendary king. In southwest England in the country of Cornwall, Tintagel Castle sits among rugged cliffs on the northern coast of the country. This is where it is rumored that King Arthur was conceived with the help of the magical Merlin. Tintagel Castle is the only location thought to be the birthplace of King Arthur, but when it comes to his infamous court of Camelot, there is a lot of debate. Some people believe that Arthur made his home in Wales at a place called Caerleon, which was an ancient Roman town. This theory makes sense, as Arthur could have used the Roman defenses to his advantage. Other places that might actually be the fabled Camelot include an Iron Age hill fort in Somerset, and some even put the location as far north as Hadrian's Wall at the site of Roxburgh Castle near Kelso. It's interesting to think that the mythological king that is so associated with England could have in fact been Scottish or Welsh. Although it's still unknown whether King Arthur actually existed, all of the other places are real and packed full of history for you to discover. Number 9. Troy The Iliad, written by Greek poet Homer, is a series of poems that a lot of scholars know well. Even if you aren't familiar with the Iliad, you may have heard of the wooden Trojan horse, or Helen of Troy considered to be the most beautiful woman in the world and was responsible for sparking the war between the Greeks and Troy. The warrior Achilles may also ring a bell for you. This legend of Troy has been passed down over the years and is mentioned in lots of books and films. However, many are unaware that this infamous city was actually a real place. To get to the lost city of Troy, you'll need to head to Turkey. Located on its north coast is the archaeological site that explorer Heinrich Schliemann uncovered in 1870. He found the ruins after setting out on a mission to try and find all of the places mentioned in Homer's Iliad. Set upon a hill, archaeologists found many layers to the city within the rock. The city of Troy, if it existed, was most likely here. But the same spot is home to eight or nine different cities built on top of each other over the years, so it's anyone's guess which layer may have gone through the Trojan War. Although it's not known or proven that the Trojan War actually took place, the people of Troy had their fair share of troubles. There's evidence of fires, battles, and even earthquakes occurring at the site. This ancient location still brings in visitors to this day, eager to learn about its history. Do you want to go? I sure do! Number 8. Xanadu When you think of Xanadu, you might think about the 1980s pop hit by Olivia Newton-John. However, many may be surprised to find out that Xanadu is a real place. Xanadu was the capital of the Mongolian Empire, which was located in modern-day northern China in the 13th century. The first time that the Western world ever heard of the city was from the famous explorer Marco Polo in 1298 AD. The city became shrouded in mystery when it was mentioned by Samuel Taylor Coleridge in his poem called Kubla Khan. Within this work of art, he talks about the luxurious buildings of Xanadu along with streams and geysers spouting water up to the skies, making the city seem like something out of a fairy tale. Some of the descriptions in his poem are definitely true, while other details are extremely exaggerated. There might not be exploding geysers, but there were a lot of springs in the area that the people of Xanadu could use to get water for their crops. It is estimated that around 200,000 people lived in the city at its peak. The poem also talks about the area being luxurious, which is also most likely true. The streets were laid out according to practices of feng shui and the palace complex was lavishly decorated. The ruins of Xanadu are now considered a UNESCO World Heritage Site. However, for many people, it still remains the mythical city of Eastern splendor, thought up by writers, explorers, and figures from the West. Number 7. El Dorado You might be familiar with the animated DreamWorks movie The Road to El Dorado, where two down-on-their-luck adventurers end up finding the fabled city of gold. However, the rumors about El Dorado go back further than that, and there may even be a nugget of truth to the tale. 
The famous city of El Dorado was not mentioned in history books until the early 1500s. Rumors began circulating of a legendary city of gold, whose kings had covered themselves in gold powder and plunged into the nearby lake. Many treasure hunters, hearing this tale, set off for South America, many of whom lost their lives during the search. In 1535, Gonzalo Jimenez de Quesada and his men were traveling through Colombia when they came across the Muisca people who lived by the shores of Lake Guatavita. This was the same tribe of people with kings covered in gold dust. And so, conquistadors did what conquistadors do. They attacked and defeated the Muisca tribe, and afterwards they scoured the depths of the lake in hopes of recovering any riches they could find. They did, in fact, find gold. However, the amount was a lot smaller than they were originally anticipating. As a result, the conquistadors believed that there was no way that this was the El Dorado of legend, and carried on looking. Further expeditions have turned up nothing at all, leading many to believe that El Dorado was nothing but a myth. Number 6. The Bermuda Triangle In December 1945, a group of U.S. bomber planes set off from their Navy base and started to fly over the coast of Florida toward the Atlantic Ocean on a routine bombing practice mission. Their lead pilot somehow became disoriented, and as they were following him, so did the crew. They were never seen or heard from again, and even the plane that was sent to rescue them disappeared as well. These pilots are just one example of the many other people that have gone missing in the area called the Bermuda Triangle. This place has claimed at least 50 ships and 20 airplanes that we are aware of. Stretching between Florida, the Greater Antilles, and Bermuda, after which it is named, the Bermuda Triangle is a stretch of sea that seems to swallow up travelers and their vessels, making them vanish without a trace. Scholars and scientists have often wondered why this location is so deadly, and question if its mysterious effects are even real. Over the years, many theories have emerged as to why strange things happen here. Some people believe it is alien activity, the lost city of Atlantis, or even sea monsters that cause the phenomenon. Others suggest it could be due to magnetic fields or gravitational disturbances. Either way, the true reasoning remains unknown, and many planes and ships still avoid passing through the dangerous Bermuda Triangle to this day. What do you think is really going on there? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 5. Mount Olympus Mount Olympus has long been considered the home of Zeus as well as the other major Greek gods. Here, Zeus is thought to have reigned supreme, watching over civilization below. By his side is said to have been his jealous wife Hera, as well as the entire pantheon of gods and demigods such as Athena, the goddess of wisdom, and Ares, the god of war. Because Mount Olympus is drenched in ancient lore, a lot of people might assume the place is nothing but a legend. However, many would be surprised to find out that Mount Olympus is a very real place, located in Greece. Granted, nobody has proof that any gods reside there, and lightning bolts don't come shooting down to smite people from the vengeful Zeus. However, you could understand why so many people thought this was a suitable location for deities to be living. The sheer size of Mount Olympus measures 9,570 feet tall, which would have meant it was definitely an imposing sight to the ancient Greeks living down below. Its many peaks are often either covered in snow or hidden among the clouds, so it would have been easy for the Greeks to imagine gods scheming from up above. There are surprisingly three notable mountains with the same name out there, the one I mentioned in Greece, one in nearby Cyprus, and Olympus Mons, the tallest mountain on Mars. Number 4. Babylon Babylon is often seen as one of the ancient cities of legend. You might have heard about its famous hanging gardens, which created a green oasis in the middle of the dry and arid desert. Otherwise, you might know the song Rivers of Babylon, or could have even read about it in the Bible. However, the ruins of this great civilization can still be found to this day in northern Iraq. Back then, Babylon was huge as far as ancient cities go. For an idea of the sheer size of it, the closest modern comparison is the city of Chicago in the United States. Chicago is far from a small place, measuring 234.5 square miles. Babylon was a great metropolis, 
with large temples, beautifully decorated palaces covered in tiles, and bustling streets. It's believed the Hanging Gardens were part of a temple, which some think was the inspiration for the Tower of Babel from the Bible. One of the more amazing things about this city was the wall that surrounded it. This was far from the walls of your regular house. In fact, two chariots each, led by four horses, are said to have been able to pass one another on the road on top of the wall. Sadly, Babylon's greatness did not last forever. In the 2nd century BC, the great city was sacked by the invading Parthians and left to crumble into ruin. The site is still protected by UNESCO, but remains a shadow of what it once was. Number 3. Dracula's Castle When you think of a vampire, you're most likely going to say Dracula. In Bram Stoker's novel of the same name, Count Dracula is a fearsome vampire from Transylvania who had an imposing castle high up on a hill looking down onto the village below. This is a scene you'll be all too familiar with from a lot of horror-themed movies, TV shows, and games. But does Dracula's castle actually exist, or is it a work of fiction? Bram Castle is a real place in Transylvania, and it is commonly known as Dracula's Castle today. It is located in the commune of Bran in Brasov County and is highly marketed as the residence of the title character from the book. Bran Castle is the only one in Transylvania that matches the author's description, and although he never visited Romania, he is said to have based the imaginary Dracula's castle off of an illustration of Bran Castle from the book Transylvania, Its Product and Its People, written by Charles Bonaire. The whole vampire thing may not be real, but it's interesting to note that the people of the nearby area have some superstitions of their own. They believed that certain people, who they call Strigoi, lived regular lives during the day, but at night their spirits left their bodies and haunted the village, torturing its inhabitants until sunrise. That sounds terrifying to say the least, and it's said that the Dracula character was derived from these local legends. Number 2. Area 51 The government has confirmed that Area 51 is a completely real place. However, it's located somewhere that is completely shrouded in mystery. This military installment has long been the subject of conspiracy theories, including aliens and advanced technology. Area 51 is located in the deserts of Nevada in the USA and is a classified U.S. Air Force base. There are many theories as to what goes on here, with the most popular one being that aliens are kept and contained at the site. You can't fly over it, and despite being built in 1955, it was only officially recognized as recently as 2013. That's enough to make anyone wonder what's going on there. Area 51 covers a patch of desert that is over 2.9 million acres in diameter. That's a whopping 4,531 square miles. It covers such a large area of land that it's no wonder why people have so many conspiracies about it. In 2019, a group of people got together and decided to storm Area 51. They planned to find out just exactly what was happening there. Thankfully, it all ended up being a joke, and nothing really happened. If folks did try and get into the military base, they'd most likely have a bad time, especially since the area is heavily guarded. The official use for Area 51 is documented as a place to test and develop brand new aircraft and spy planes. This would seem to make sense, as satellite images show a runway over 2.3 miles long. However, it hasn't stopped the place from being the target of theories and myths still to this day. Number 1. Gates to the Underworld In ancient Greece, when a loved one passed, it was believed they were taken to the underworld, or Hades, the realm of the dead. In some Greek myths and legends, heroes have even tried to go there in order to bring back a special person to the land of the living. The most famous of them is Orpheus, who managed to get all the way there to find not his wife, but an apparition of her, presented by the gods to mock him for trying to save her. But where would Orpheus have had to travel in order to get there? It's thought that what the ancient Greeks believed was the gate to the underworld was most likely the Alipotripa cave, which in fact is a real place with some surprising history behind it. Located in Mani, Greece, the cave is huge, measuring almost 1,000 feet in length. 
Even more remarkable than that, hundreds of prehistoric people would have lived here as a community based on everything that archaeologists have found. However, in a grisly turn of events, one day, around 5,000 years ago, everything changed. An earthquake led to the entrance of the cave collapsing, meaning that everyone inside was buried alive. It seems like the gate to the underworld lived up to its name after all. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!